I was told you were ready to leave. Almost. You're awfully impatient for someone who's supposed to be immortal. Not immortal as you mean it. My race can die through illness or injury. Where are the rest of them? They uh, fell ill and died, were injured and died. The rest went away. I am the last, and I was the first. I have to admit, I'm a little bit skeptical about that. Skepticism is the language of the mind. What does your heart tell you? My heart and I don't speak anymore. Yes. I have noticed that. Okay, let's assume that in all of the universe, you were the first living being to achieve sentience, billions of years ago. Now, at that point, you'd be doing pretty good to invent fire or the wheel. You couldn't come up with science, technology, find a serum for immortality all in one lifetime. It wasn't necessary. We were born naturally immortal. It's impossible. Everything dies. Yes, now. At first, we were kept in balance by birth rate. Few of us were ever born, less than a handful each year. Then I think the universe decided that to appreciate life, for there to be change and growth, life had to be short. So the generations that followed us grew old, infirm, died. But those of us who were first went on. We discovered the Vorlons and the Shadows, when they were infant races, and it nourished them, helped them and all the other races you call the first ones. In time, most of them died, or passed beyond the rim to whatever lies in the darkness between galaxies. We've lived too long, seen too much. To live on as we have is to leave behind joy and love and companionship, because we know it to be transitory of the moment. We know it will turn to ash. Only those whose lives are brief can imagine that love is eternal. You should embrace that remarkable illusion. It may be the greatest gift your race has ever received.